What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we are sparring against the Brits and we've absolutely eviscerated an army round about here. Um, which is now commanded by Captain Granville Beardsley because his army and associated friends have been utterly destroyed. However, Kevin McDowell seems to uh, want to hunker down. I'm not going to push out with my army here, because if they attack me I'd like to fight a little siege battle actually, might be rather fun. But apart from that, everything seems to be going to plan. We have also taken Jamaica, which is currently being reinforced. I want to sail down and take Curacao, first to knock the Brits out of this entire theatre. Then I also want to sail down and secure these two regions, as they are very valuable. And it looks like it'll be a bit of a fight to, uh, to kill them, so that should be fun. But apart from that, it looks like I am out of cash, so I need to hit end turn. And I've got a lot of untapped potential in my uh, industry base at the moment, but I sadly don't have the technology to take advantage of it. So let's see what the British do. Obviously the navy is growing. Mine is growing too, just uh, not as fast with only having one dockyard. Yeah, they're just going to be annoying and raid. So we may end up splitting my army, Theodore's army, up in halves. So one can advance around the north and one can advance around the south. The Austrians have taken Gibraltar. And they're knocking back the Spanish. Which is interesting. So Austria is becoming quite, in, quite a, uh, an interesting player here now. Uh, my hope would be I can take Curacao and then make peace with Britain. Because my main focus as a former French colonial power is to knock out France. But I want to take Curacao because it stops them from being able to generate forces in theatre to come and attack me. They have to build them over in, in Europe and then send them west. That would be my preference. Then, as Louisiana, I would like to go and take, take over Paris. And I'll, you know... Once they were the colonisers, now we are the colonisers. No. Oh, you know what? I've noughts that up pretty bad. Okay, so let's take Theodore's army. So let's just take the top half. Go around that way. Bottom half. Come around this way. So this way, at the very least, we intercept them from one direction or another. And it looks like rather than actually... Uh, Attacking me, that army is fairly confused of what to do. So let's get into position. I'm, I'm think this is an infantry unit that got absolutely destroyed, and I might bring a howitzer over. Then, when they're replenished, we'll go knock out the Brits because right now they can't go anywhere. Piers Champion, yeah, big fleet in the Straits of Madagascar. Aha! start of our great fleet is afoot. So in two turns we'll start to get first rates. So I'm going to recruit another second and then two thirds. And this will be like quite a good mid-tier fleet and I'll obviously recruit one of these seconds into my... I may as well do it now actually. Pegasus. Pegasus would be an admiral. In a second-rate ship of the line. Good stuff. And I also need to make sure... Yeah, you're in, you're in good condition too. I don't want to send them against the last Huron territory. Uh, because they might get absolutely stomped. Against a native faction if they're not fully prepared. So I'm not so... Haven't really got an exploitation plan for those just yet. The French are gearing up. Not that it'll help them. So much so. Is this fleet of fifth suitable to come blockade this fleet? Yes. It's mostly lots of sixths, privateers, brigs. Oh, they got a fourth. Good, good. And in good shape, fourth rate. Well, in these types of battles, I'm not looking after. I'm not looking for a fair fight. I'm looking for uh, one-sided ones for my naval engagements. Thank you very much. Let's 
grow these guys and let's also go up to I think you are replenishing we've only got a bit of replenishment to do so it only take one turn let's repair this shop here may as well build the great arsenal there you go one more turn to a couple of new technologies When are you going to get your next port? New Haven's there. When are you going to get a port? Harrisburg is the town, which is a shame. I'll probably turn one of these into a ch naval shipyard, maybe, just to keep firing troops and ships off to the trade theatres. It's probably a good idea. Lots of palatial estates. We've upgraded um, Fort Salt St. Murray's government building. Boston's got a great arsenal. And I remember. So let's take. Fifth or eight. Don't get smart with me, fella. I've got to bring these guys over to support this army. Or does this army. Is this army part of the. Uh, Oh, the artillery is meant to come with me, wasn't it? So you have to stay there. Oh, it's okay. You can stay there for now. Still keeping an eye on here. The government's causing a huge amount of uh, tax problems here. But they also love them because they've got a massive army. I should add some insight as to what's going on. More insight as to what's going on in Europe. Because the Austrians, yeah, they're recruiting lots of native troops. You've pushed over and they've hit Gibraltar and they've taken it with a mixed force. They got a fair. They got a, a, an okay navy. Oh no, they got some second rates and some thirds. So what's actually happening here? France is still France is still being France and doing what it's doing. The interesting is Sweden's pushed down and taken a chunk of Central Europe. The Prussians are gone. Austria's pretty well entrenched and they've got lots of alliances with people. They're only at war with Spain. The Ottoman borders look fairly stable. Okay, let's hit end turn. So right now, um, right now things are things are stable, things are steady. We've got a few little loose ends around, like those guys. They are cavalry, so they will cover a lot of distance. Ah, oh, there's another French force. So they probably came from the Wilmot Islands. So it looks like I'm, I am going to need to take the Wilmot Islands. The Spanish are going to are going to lose Naples. Because we saw a full stack in our field of vision, and Naples was also under siege, so there was another army there. Hmm. Yep, yeah, I think we need to go take Paris. Because right now, we're being quite reactive to these colonial swines, and the army that's in. With the army that's in Cura, uh, Jamaica, they're going to go to the Windward Islands instead. And I'm actually going to bring the army that's currently up in Newfoundland. They can come south and also get involved in this to help clear out the, uh, the Caribbean. Because I'm not going to let them get away with that. Yeah, you're still there. Okay, good. Two tech advances, so... You, instead of doing separation of powers, I wanted to go down Wealth of Nations to get all those lovely wealth boosts. New mines, new roads, and palatial estates. Can you leave Huron territory yet? Not by a long shot. Religious unrest is only two as well, so it's just sheer hatred of my faction that's doing that. 
Oh, you're not still. Oh, you're not ready. You need some replenishment. Okay. So you still need some replenishment, but it can't be much. No, it's only those skirmishes. Okay, so you guys climb aboard. Let's embark the fifth freight. Let's get them. Okay, let's get them over to here. There's going to be a bit of a switcheroo going on. So let's build a howitzer as well. So this army's got two slots left, so they've got a gun. Which is going to join them. Although actually, what the navy needs to do is disembark the army so I can move out my prime fleet so it's only transported by my fifths. I think that's a good idea. Bring away, we do actually have a f these Frenchmen here. We might actually go kill them instead so we don't have to redeploy our army anyway. Let's do it. Let's take this new force out for a spin. Especially as the French are trapped. <laughs> Let's do this. I love battles like this because not only do you get to destroy the navy, you destroy an army as well. Okay, so let's put my... I brought my fifth ray with me in this one as well. Let's see what direction they attempt to sail. They are going to try and sail behind my line. What he's trying to attempt to do. So it's Victoire, 4th rate, Veteran, 5th rate, Fougeot, 6th rate, La Corone, 5th rate, Fantasque. Fantasque. General Kaira, although that doesn't sound like yours. Still, looks like our, <laughs> looks like our first catch of the day is going to be Victoire, which may or may not have their admiral on board. So that's their captain. I'm not sure if it's their admiral. You can never really tell. There's no clear distinguishing icon differences like there is on land. Sail the fleet forward a little bit. Okay, stop. Because they've decided to change their mind. So there's not really much point to moving right now because they're sailing towards our line. Individual movements may become necessary later on, but for now two sweeping grey broadsides come in from 3rd and Fairfield. Second rate ship of the line. Of course Pegasus, our admiral, is sat back here. Poor old Victoire. Lots of those are pretty high. It's a pretty neat view, though. We only killed one man. Oh, the other ships are firing their broadsides again. So they've lost ten guns, but that wasn't all us. You know what? <laughs> Got a nice screenshot of that. I think that's pretty cool. 
first shots are going into Veteran, the lighter the lighter ships towards the rear. So when they break through our lines, that's when we're going to start to do more manual control. Also probably moments like this. You pivot upwards. Fairfield can pivot over in this direction. Although arguably this is a uh, objective for the entire force. To get hustling, get moving, put down as much firepower as they can, but get the head of the line sweeping back around to engage as this battle advances more towards this sort of this part of the sea. Oh, that poor sixth rate. See if you can transferring chain into Victoire. Masts down. Damn, that's some that is some sail flying away there. Okay, you know what, you guys are going to be separate. Because you guys, are, you guys are actually going to try and engage. In the muck. Set this guy to just attack the fourth rate so we don't have to focus about it. This chap, I don't like how fast he is. So Veteran has surrounded... job here. Yeah, Victoire surrendered. Peugeot is routing. Shots into Genero. So much so, let's get ready to fire off an, an incomplete broadside, but a good broadside anyway. Probably the same here.
Yeah, my fourth rate's routing. So you got shot in the backside by the privateer. Good, we took out our master general. He's gone. Climb aboard that ship. Let's knock these sails out, or some of these sails out. Try and knock some sails out of Lacaron. The reason why I want to knock out, I really want to knock out sails, is because these ships will route quicker than my guys can actually catch them. Try. I just really want to try and knock out sails. Okay, so we're taking, we're attacking the privateer. Super annoying little brig is just being annoying. All of you guys chase after that brig at full sail. There goes the mast. These guys have all routed. Damn right, we're going to continue. Sail at full sail. Cut this brig off. So I'll wait until she's right next to us before I give the order to board. I don't want any screw-ups. Whew. <laughs> this is why none of my big ships could have actually caught up with that brig. As it is. They lost two, we captured six, and we don't want any of them. We just want their men taken into our prisons where they cannot wage war on our royal majesty. Okay, let's upgrade the fur exchange. Ah, we can actually upgrade our ports now. So down here in New Orleans, New Orleans, I'm sorry. Upgrade this guy to the next level port. Good stuff. So you're still replenishing you're just a garrison. This army's rearming. Well, slightly. Yeah, 
one of these other guys is going to hit Curacao, the other is going to hit the Windward Islands, because that's where those guys came from. Good, and our Admiral got some cool Admiral points. Cool under fire. Oh no, I completely forgot about reordering that uh, army to go catch up to those annoying little ra the annoying little raiding fellows. Yep, France is building lots of troops, but there's nowhere to take them. So the Austrians are they must have got repelled from Naples because it was under siege and it's still under Spanish control. Hmm. Well, let's see how things progress. So I am conscious I do probably want to build want to build um navies to go off into the trade theatres. But right now I'm limited by only having one port. And obviously I'm looking at the Cherokee. <laughs> um, we're allies. But I could definitely do with conquering them. But I'd rather do that once I've knocked out some of my colonial enemies. So I don't have as much... I don't have any risk, as many risks of uh, you know, landing behind my lines and so on. New town emerges. New Haven. Here you go. Have a coaching in. Just to keep the clamour for reform under control. Okay, so let's take... Firstly... You head over here. Theodore, come and chase down Mr Beardsley. And make sure... Uh, I thought, I'm sure it's, you could have got him. Okay, the garrison's going to go kill him. Just to make sure he's dead. He, just to make sure he's gone. And honor. Immediately. At the ready. So you guys replenish. Head back home. Sir. Theodore. Sir. Firstly, Theodore and your, your other, you and your artillery can gather at Falmouth. Let's pick up some ports in all the places that we can currently upgrade. And let's upgrade things to push out to those regions. So we've got Puddling Furnace, which is great. Nida, you might continue with your research here. And instead, go on to... The well, sea plant you draw is not bad. I do have lots of farms, actually, so that's pretty good. But then again, I've upgraded most of them completely, so it's not as useful. Okay, so... Full Navy, because we're now a naval hospital. Sands fifth rate. Ships orders. Ships orders, Captain. Army embark. Granted, the Troops. my uh, skirmishes are still they're still uh, waiting or they're still replenishing. So let's drop them off. <laughs> Looks like the port is not garrisoned. Put the tower under siege. I'm not as bothered about attacking it yet. Instead, I want Roland. You guys can redeploy down towards Guadeloupe, where our fifth rate can reorganize into another force. Because. Oh no, click the wrong buttons. We do want to build the first rate ship of the line, but we can't afford it. So I'm going to build a second rate, just to keep the recruitment queue going. We've got recruitment report. Yeah, that was our last batch of ships. So I based them down in the Caribbean to go and do, try to do some good. I may even... Okay, let's drop one of these militia in the port to act as a garrison. If this, if this port's going to be a port where I move ships out regularly... Then I want to land garrison there. Yeah. 
Especially you. That's probably a job for... Four fifths to deal with that. Because they're all pretty damaged. So Hero's the one that's... I know, Lightning's got range. Fox has range. No. Oh, they have to be... Oh, okay. I wanted Fox to come over here. To join these guys. To bottle up the fleet here. You guys can go into Kingston. Then another fifth here. Or a sloop. Ah, lots of sloops. In which case then, sloop, you can go over here. Rally. It's not as dangerous to leave Rally at sea now. We will want this sloop. Yeah, if I do that, I can, I can bottle up this army from coming to attack us. So my other navy. Let's get eyes on these Marath this Maratha Mughal installation. And they are upgrading it to a naval shipyard, so we've got to be careful of that. It's Ray Demerara. Maybe move back to Kingston. Then let's take these guys. Still replenishing, but they're making good progress. Our research and tech is going okay, but the very last thing we're going to do is take this army, Mr. Brissot, who is now completely replenished. He is going to go and attack Kevin McDowell in this port. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Louisiana. Cheers everyone.